Welcome to this tour of the typical NAPCO virtual show environment. In this brief video, I'll be showing you what our standard setup looks like and pointing out some ways that you can make the most of your sponsorship and engage show attendees. All virtual trade show attendees log in to enter the show and begin in the virtual plaza. From there, we track where they go and what they access. As a sponsor, you'll collect the information that attendees provided when they registered. We'll give you a customized report that shows which attendees visited your booth, viewed sessions you sponsored, and or downloaded your resources. In the plaza, attendees will find branding for all of the show's main sponsors and can click on their logos to access their booths in the exhibit hall. High-level sponsorship packages also include the opportunity to offer featured content front and center in the plaza. All show visitors can initiate live contact with the show representative by clicking on the information desk at the center of the screen, and likewise, other locations within the virtual environment can be accessed with a simple click on any of the doorways in the plaza. Let's take a quick peek into the main exhibit hall, where your booth will appear. As you can see, it's set up just the way a face-to-face -face event would be. But hold that thought, we'll come back here in a minute. Clicking on the show's logo in the top left corner of any screen will always take you back to the plaza. The navigation bar along the bottom of the screen is visible no matter where you are within the virtual environment. Here are some highlights. Hovering over the Locations button is another way to access all of the places within the trade show. Attendees can use the My Briefcase button to access the items they've stored in their briefcase. As they peruse the virtual show, attendees are able to save practically anything here. They can earmark presentations, documents, booths, virtual business cards, chat transcripts, or giveaway information to be saved and accessed later. As a sponsor, you must find a way to get saved into attendees' briefcases. Clicking the Who's Here button will allow you to see who else is in the virtual environment at any given time. The star icon indicates a show or booth representative. This is a great tool for sponsors looking to make as much one-to-one -one contact with show attendees as possible. You can roll over a screen name in this window to see another person's picture, access their profile, initiate a one-to-one -one chat with that person, or send them an in-show email. Speaking of email, each virtual show has a built-in email box for all users. You can access your in-show email by clicking this button. The window that pops up behaves like and has pretty much all of the functionality of any email tool. Under search, you can search for content within the show, presentations, resources, etc., and people that have registered. Use these tools to search for and engage prospective clients, tell them about your product, or invite them to visit your booth. The My Profile button is one of the most important. This is where you can change your profile settings, as you'll see here in a second. One of my favorite features is the ability to set up your in-show email so that when someone sends you a message within the environment, a copy is sent to the email address that you use to register. This is handy if you're not able to be logged into the show all day during the live event. We encourage you to set up your profile with a picture. This will help personalize any one-to-one -one contact with attendees. You can also adjust your time zone in this screen so that all live components of the show appear in your local time. Before I take you through to the other show locations, I'd like to show you the chat tool. This feature is key to networking at the live event and interacting with attendees during the show. When you send someone a request to chat, a window will pop up on their screen, allowing you to interact with them in real time. Now that you've seen some of the features of the environment, let's take a look at the other locations. First, the Resource Center. The Resource Center is a place where we house collateral like white papers, brochures, links to videos, and the like. Sponsors can submit resources about their company and products or on topics relating to the theme of the show. Placing items here raises the chance that attendees will touch your company via the virtual show. For example, if they don't make it to the exhibit hall or your booth, they might still grab one of your white papers from this library. Resources can be sorted, searched, rated, and saved to an attendee's briefcase, so again, make sure yours are compelling and stand out from the crowd. The auditorium is where all of the educational sessions listed on the conference agenda can be viewed. Just as in the Resource Center, sessions can be sorted, searched, rated, saved to a briefcase, and launched from this location. The networking lounge serves as a social forum for show attendees. When you enter, you'll see a group chat window that lists everyone that's available for or engaged in the chat. 
we always urge sponsors to check in on the chatter happening here on show day. It's a great way to get involved in the conversation or spot a potential customer. If you'd like to take your discussion out of the public forum, you can click on a person's screen name to engage them one-to-one. -one. Now to the main exhibit hall to check out the booths. Attendees can view all available booths by sweeping their mouse over the arrows on the left and right hand side of the view, or by clicking on the booth list sign. Hovering over any booth will show a short description of the company. Clicking on a booth allows an attendee to enter. Upon entering, visitors will see the booth greeting and they are free to click on any of the buttons along the right hand side. You can customize these buttons any way you'd like. You can offer white papers, webinars or product data sheets, link out to your company blog, or set up a button so a visitor can send you an email inquiry. The opportunities are almost endless. Clicking the content rep button, in this case the sponsor has edited this button to say request a demo, will allow the visitors to see which booth representatives are online and available for live chat, or if the rep is offline, a visitor can send an in-show email from this window too. In a live environment, we also strongly recommend that booths have a group chat button. Anyone that clicks on this button will open a group chat window and will be able to enter into a common chat with any booth reps or other visitors that are live in the booth. Last but certainly not least, all of the individuals set up to work your booth as reps on the day of the show will have access to a dashboard within the booth. Simply click the button that will appear in the bottom right corner of the screen to access it. This dashboard allows reps that are working the booth at the same time to communicate directly with one another via chat and to get detailed information on all current visitors to their booth. Reps can see stats on how long someone's been in the booth and what other content they viewed. It also allows reps to engage the visitor directly, armed with some knowledge as to what they've come to the show to get information about. Before we close out, there are a few more widgets I'd like to point out. We make it extremely easy for attendees and reps to spread the word about the show to their social networks. You can also access the Twitter feed about the show right from the show. Just click the Twitter icon on the nav bar. You can even tweet right from this window. I hope you've enjoyed this brief tour. As you can see, just like a physical trade show, this forum is packed with opportunities to collect new leads and engage potential clients. Please contact your sales representative with any questions you might have. Have a great day!